Hello folks, today I have got the question of 2020 October November paper 2, 3 and the question number is 2. It is concerned with the chapter uh, forces and you can see something uh, concerned with Turkey. The first thing says, uh, uh, state what is meant by the center of gravity of a body. So it is the point in the body which uh, through which uh, the whole weight of the body seems to act or seems to concentrate. Uh, number B, we have got a uniform wooden post AB, AB of weight 45 Newton, 45 Newton stands in equilibrium on a hard ground, hard ground as shown in figure 2.1. And A of the vertical post is supported on the ground, on the ground here. A horizontal wire with a tension T, tension T is attached to end B of the post. So it is pulling the post in this direction. Another wire uh, attached to the post at, uh, at uh, uh, point C, point C is at an angle of 60 degrees to the horizontal, horizontal CD here and has tension 38 Newton. The distances along the post of points A, B, and C are shown in figure uh, 2.1. So, the distance is being shown here. The first question is, calculate the original component of the force exerted on the post by the wire connected to point C. So, this setting is generally uh, concerned with the electric poles there. So, they have got uh, electric wires here. The poles will be here. And they are separated on the ground by something like this, something like this, fixed to the ground. So, mainly it is concerned with the electric poles. So, the first thing we have to find is the original component of the force exerted on the post by the wire connected to point C. So, the force will be equal to uh, 38 uh, uh, Newton into, into the component is in this direction, horizontal. So, it is it is a cos of 60 so cos of 60 degrees so uh, we know that uh, the component at uh, that direction where the angle is given is a cos six, cos uh, theta so 30 into uh, cos 60 cos 60 is 1 by 2 so it should be equal to 19 newton now by by considering moments about in a so we have to consider a as a fixed point determine the tension t so we have to find this tension t so it should be, if this is a fixed point, then T is the force T into, this is the line of action of T, line of action of T from here to here, here to here, and the perpendicular distance is AB. So it should be equal to, AB is equal to 0 0.9 plus 0 0.30, so 0 0.90 plus 0 0.30, 30. <coughs> this will rotate the body in anti-clockwise sense. Now the other force is this thing. This thing will rotate the body in clockwise sense. So if you don't have this thing, this pole will rotate like this. So it uh, gives you clockwise. And uh, this force will do nothing in terms of rotation. Because it uh, uh, passes through this very fulcrum. That's why uh, it uh, cannot produce any rotation. So this produces clockwise. So this anti-clockwise equal to the clockwise is 38 into 38 into into r into uh, so if i use this force the radius is this thing so it is a 0 0.90 0 0.90 into sine of into sine of the angle between angle between uh, this thing this thing as uh, and this thing sine of the angle between this thing and this thing so let us say it is into sine sine and the angle between this and this is equal to 30 degrees so it is a 30 degrees because the 60 this should be 30 so it is sine of 30 degrees so this gives us or i can say t into 1.20 equal to sine 30 is uh, 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 into this thing is uh, 19 so 19 into 0 0.90 so this gives me t is equal to 19 into 0 0.9 whole divided 1.20 and that's equal to so 19 into 0 0.9 divided 1.2 equal to 14.25 newton so it should be equal to if i use uh, 2 sf it is uh, 14 newtons now calculate the vertical component of the force exerted on the post at 8a so here we have to calculate the vertical component 
so it should be the overall uh, vertical uh, force here one is for the union and one will be given by this thing so the total vertical force is force vertical total totally is equal to one is 45 newton plus the other is the vertical component of this thing so it is 38 into the component here should be equal to here it is a 60 degree angle it is cos 60 so here it should be sin 60 the component uh, at that side where angle is not present is equal to sin theta so it is sine of 60 degrees that's equal to uh, sine 60 uh, into 38 plus 45 equal to 77.77.91 newton so it's equal to simply 78 newton if i write in two significant figures so this is how you solve this question now in this case what i can do here is instead of using this equation i can directly use this thing this force this force into the perpendicular distance this force into the perpendicular distance so that force was 19 which we got here 19 into the this distance is 0 0.90 0 0.90 so there are the two ways of doing the same thing so it gave this this and uh, we can obtain this directly by observing the perpendicular component of that force so that's how we solve the problems